This week we're going to talk about how you can free up gigabytes of space on your system in just a couple of minutes. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, I wanted to share a really simple Conda tip that I didn't know about for a long time and always remind people of when we teach workshops. And it seems like a lot of them maybe didn't know about it either or had forgotten about it. So this is your announcement of remember to go do Conda clean on your system. So what does Conda clean do? Conda clean cleans out a lot of the files that aren't necessary for operation, but can help operation of your Conda install. These are things like index caches, lock files, cached packages, tarballs, log files, and more. So some of those caches make installing things that you've already installed or used, you know, they make it pretty snappy because uh, you've already got a cached local copy. Things like log files are great for debugging. But all of this can take up a lot of space on your system. In fact, if you look here on my system, right now my mini Conda 3 directory is sitting at about 45 gigabytes, which is crazy, especially if you've got a small SSD in your computer that may only have 128 gigs of room to start with. Now, I don't have that problem because I've got a couple of terabytes of storage here, but I don't like keeping extra things around. One, because I back everything up and pay for that backup capacity. So why back up things that I don't need? In fact, I probably should just exclude this directory from backup altogether. But Conda Clean's a great way to purge your system. The one caveat that I will give is be careful because if you have packages installed with symbolic links to the package cache, this could break things. If that doesn't make any sense to you, then you probably are fine. There are also, of course, a lot of options that you can read about in the docs for the Conda documentation, but I want to show you how I use Conda Clean. So I'm going to run the command Conda Clean dash TP for tarballs and packages. I've gone through all the options in Conda Clean, and these are the two that save me by far orders of magnitude more space than log files or index caches and those sort of things. I don't really bother those because they never have been huge on my system. And it's always a good idea to use the dry run option. This shows you what will happen without actually doing it. So you can get an idea. In fact, that's how I know, okay, how, how big are the log files? So I would run conda clean dash L dash dash dry dash run and see how much space that would save me. And like I said, generally has never been worth bothering with for me. So I just keep the log files around. But tarballs and packages are the things that take up most of my space. So we can see here we're going to get a little over six gigs back by doing this. Okay, so I'm going to run conda clean dash tp. It'll ask if I want to proceed. Yes, you can also use the dash y option. I don't encourage that because you should have to look at and think about what you're about to do. It's going to remove those. An easy way to remember this is Conda Clean toilet paper. You want to clean out your system. As that's removing all those tarballs, then we'll do the same thing for the packages. And now I have another six gigs of free space on my system. That's amazing. And they're asking about the packages. So be careful, but of course, go use Conda Clean and reclaim some of that hard drive space. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.